You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Breaking Bad After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424 256 1729. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Breaking Bad After Show. All right, well, hello and thank you for joining us, everybody. Bing is for doing, and we are doing another After Buzz After Show for Breaking Bad Season 5. Episode 4, entitled 51. I'm your host, John Comerford. I'm joined on the panel with our uh, extra host, filmmaker, and co-founder of AfterBuzz TV, Maria Menounos. Hello, everyone. I'm also joined by our, another another founder of AfterBuzz TV and filmmaker in his own right, Kevin Odegaro. Hello, everyone. And a documentary. Copy my line. <laughs> <And> Kristen <laughs> Snyder. Hello. And in the booth is the executive producer, Phil Svitek. He'll be joining That's us. That's me. There he is. There he is. Good to hear from you, Phil. So Kevin, before we get going, let's let's get to our first catch of the what was it called? Last catch. Sorry. Last week it's it's last week's catch. Last week's catch. I'm we'll sorry. have a we'll have that. a really nice drop for yeah. it at some point in time from Sir Richard Wentworth. Tell anyway, us about last week's catch. Well, well, can we tell you that we generally are missing things here and there? You know, as you many of you know, we go up ten minutes after the show, so we're a lot like you. We we do our best. We don't have the luxury of. Uh, we don't even want the luxury of the yeah. the, the days that other uh, hosts have to prepare for this. That being said, we're missing certain certain things, and we're blessed to have so many amazing fans who are able to write to us and tell us these things. One being um, Michael August, and Mike sent me a lot of great misses from last week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just something that you could digest. They may be on the money, they may be far fetched, but I found them interesting enough. How that many I think are you going to give us? Uh, do you want me to really count them and wait? Are you going to give us Let's all get of into these? Let's just get into them. I'm going to get get into them. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's see. The Gale quoted a poem when I heard that learned astronomer from Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass in, uh, you know, season three, episode six. You remember the book, Walt Whitman, the book yeah. that he picks up? It was referenced before. It was also referenced um, in Bullet Points, uh, which was season four, episode four, where... Walt and Hank were discussing the case and Hank was giving um, Walt some of the evidence to look over. Uh -huh. And he said, WW, geez, that could like be Walter White. Ha, 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 joke, joke, joke. He and he's like, oh, no. And um, Walt said, no, it's Walter Whitman. It's a quote from a poem. That and was when he was Walt in the bedroom. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting. Um, three, three Blind Mice was playing in the background while Walt was talking to Jesse, and we were talking about all the different threes, right? We had the Three Stooges. Right. Well, um, the significance of, th of the Three Blind Mice song, um, and again, going to Mike August, was that if you realize the song was about a group of Protestants who went against Queen Mary I, and he feels that these mice are Walt, Jesse, and Mike, and that the queen uh, who cuts off their tails will perhaps be Lydia, who, mm -hmm. who Mike apparently did not kill. Or Skylar. Because... <laughs> <laughs> who Mike didn't kill because of the daughter, which is interesting because right. we see a lot of Lydia tonight, and this right. includes that I saw with Lydia tonight. But interesting, kudos, Mike, for you seeing this. If you're on the mm -hmm. money, for you seeing this last week, I think is great. Um, th that uh, Three Stooges short that we saw was called A Bird in the Head, and the gorilla is firing a machine gun, li like Scarface, which supports Michael's uh, statement that the gorilla um, represents Walt. And the gorilla shoots a scientist, and the Stooges in the back. So, but I don't know if the scientist could in fact be Walt. So him and I debate on that. Still very interesting. There's a likely connection he feels between Scarface and Jesse James, both of whom were shot in the mm -hmm. back. Uh, plus, interesting. Another Scarface tidbit: When Tony Montana is asked what is coming to him, he replies, "The world, Chico, and everything in it." And he relates that, of course, to Walt, and especially Walt when he sees all that money on the table, yeah. he feels he's entitled to all of it, mm -hmm. and you know his growing greed. Um, 
This one was real interesting. There's a red ball in the background when the meth fumes are passing over the kiddie pool. Right. Okay. If we, when I remember that, there. yeah. And when the owner of the house asks if they will get all the pests, the answer is something like, we'll kill everything, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Mike feels that there's a definite subtext that, and this again is a spoiler, that please fill the drop for me. Okay, because we get complaints from fans when we oh, don't spoiler. do this. Alert. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Spoiler alert. Ten seconds. We'll be right back. Spoiler okay. alert. So, he feels that there's subtext here that the family or someone in that family next door is, in fact, going to die. Hence, leading to an investigation inside the house and into uh. Vominos. And the eighth uh, episode is titled Dead Freight. Ooh. And if the family does die, it may be Jesse's fault as it was his idea for the tenting that is supposed to contain the smell fumes, etc. Th that could be the symbolism in him holding the red bag. Hmm. That's Michael's prediction. Um, I just think it's pretty interesting, and that's there last week's last catch. Week's catch. Ez. Ez. Thank you. Catch. Ez. Ez. Thank Ez. you, Michael. Uh, uh, All right, so that closes last week. New business this New week. Business. Skylar and Walco toe-to-toe -to -toe in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Hank gets a promotion. Lydia puts a GPS in the monkey work. And, and, and who cares about all of that, John? Like because it's the return yeah. of Heisenberg. Heisenberg. <laughs> Look at I applaud Exactly. <laughs> no, no. I was, as soon as I saw the hat, I was like, yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. Absolutely, because that hat is so iconic now. Brian Cranston actually said after the show wraps, that's going to be the one thing he steals yeah. from wardrobe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? He can have it yeah. as long as I get that car. Oh Do you want God. the car? He's been obsessed with this car for so long. I'm oh, actually mean, scared. He will get it. He will no. get one. And you know I'm talking about the that, car. By the way, in fern green, if, if in, you yes, know as exactly. well. Exactly. By the way, clarify which car, because that's the crazy yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want the new car. Kevin wants the, no, the car I that was in the, the garage. You know what? No, Phil, this is killing me because I didn't think they were going to bring this back. I'd done all this re research on the car weeks ago, yeah. And then knowing that it was, or last season, but knowing it wasn't going to, I thought it was done. It was totaled. Right. Um, it's it's a it's a Pontiac. I Pontiac, think. yes. It's I it's thought a it was a Traverse. And it was an interesting something. kind of Pontiac because it was it was made for like camping and, mm -hmm. and and it was a real strange car. They did in fact make many of them, no. which is why when I went to eBay to buy one, <laughs> there weren't there weren't many. But I'm grateful that I know it's fur and green because uh -huh. you know when we get one, yeah, we're gonna paint it that Absolutely. color. Absolutely. And I'm saying to myself. We need to, Maria. You need to use your poll to find out who's got that car because we have to get it. But but that. Th okay. But listen, I'm on it. <laughs> but now that but now that Walt turns it in. Yeah. I don't know if I want it anymore. Yes, because new might, business. He wants the Heisenberg car, and that's not the car that led to Heisenberg. That's yeah, that's he's got it. a whole new power now. He's he's in charge. He's not in the old chemistry teacher oh, so car when he anymore. He picks up that hat. He yeah. needs he needs you know. When he picks up that hat, he knows. Yeah. I, I liked, um, you had pointed out when we were watching, you were talking about how the car had nine lives just like him. Exactly. Yes, and what yes. I was thinking when they were walking around the car and he was talking about all the things that happened, I wondered, did the car represent his health? Oh, absolutely. Well, I, and his, I think his vanilla ice cream lifestyle mm -hmm. and practicality. Yeah. But also, like, what was fixed. I mean, think about, like, he had all the chemo and stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember in the fights, weren't his glasses... A problem, but they're like the windshield was fine. You know, we didn't have to the, didn't the have glasses. To the windshield this time. But last time you had a yeah, yeah, windshield. windshield. Yeah, I thought there was a connection to the glasses. Point, yeah. So, but yeah, I think it represents well, well. Thank you. <laughs> well, well, I'm I'm totally seeing that. And what I I, I what I said to you when we were watching it was, I feel like he did get his. In a, you know, we not <coughs> the no coincidence that these new cars are leases, mm -hmm. but he did get his new lease on life. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think what the guy was saying to him is like, this thing's got another 200,000 miles. Like, I think if he would now just resume the old Walter White life. Yeah. Which it seems like he's trying when he's at home, but that's on the no, no, next no, he's, topic. No, no, he's absolutely not trying to. Uh -huh. But I mean, re like resume it to go back to teaching chemistry, mm -hmm. go back to his old lifestyle. I think what the guy was saying to him is like, hey, you know what? You can live. You can live now. You can have. A, and, and by him saying, yeah, 200,000 keep miles. it, mm -hmm. keep it and move on. I think it's like, I don't want that life. And I don't think he's going to have that life. And I don't think I don't think it's you know we all know it's not going to end well. But I'm thinking he it, he could have gone. It's like if he had walked away right now from the the drugs and everything else, and tried to resume a normal lifestyle, he could he, have lived a long life, two hundred thousand right. more could, miles. Right. Yeah, but it would have been a life about uh, you know making of sure driving you're that under car. your blue book and making sure your insurance takes the yep. and all Back that kind of crap life. that he wants to walk away from. Something I like that that guy said, he has said, nothing beats free. Yeah. And that yeah. goes back to episode one with the uh, server that was trying to give him the free birthday. Mm -hmm. I wonder what was the significance of Fern Green? 
I don't know. Fern I, green yeah, is a color of camouflage, right? Well, it, and now he's not really camouflaging anymore. He's kind of just going it, for it. It's also, I mean, it's it's rather bland. There's not much. It's certainly not fire engine red. Or, I mean, that's or the life he's walking black, away. Exactly. Right? That's the, what he's walking away <laughs> right. from, I think. I, that's a, the only thing I gleaned from that. I'm sure we'll hear from maybe Michael August or a couple of our listeners. Honey, uh, Tell us what they think of fern green. What, what's the significance of the fern green color? Well, I think it was, it, if you notice, not a very bright green. It's Yeah, it's very bland. So it was the fact that Maria said it's just being in the background. Yeah. Just that's all he was. He was blending in. He was just blending in. He wasn't really standing out. No. But also, it was the c it's kind of the color of of. I mean, it's a mute, more muted version of the chemistry green, right? That they use. So the chemist is like kind of going away, and now he's stepping mm -hmm. into the power. Muted version of money. I mean, green is just sim yeah, symbolizes totally. so many things. Um, but really, let, who cares? The car's gone. <laughs> New <laughs> cars. <laughs> that <laughs> shot of them coming in, and then they're yeah. having so much fun. And he looks over, and he's like. Yeah, you need to be in a new car, too. Yeah. It was badass. And do awesome. dollying in to get oh. the black, uh, I think it's the Chrysler th 300. Oh, yeah. you know, it's just an awesome car. Yeah. And then to get Junior, yeah. his Challenger back, but notice no longer orange, right. now red. Right. Now he's got the I'm black. sure they were just out of the orange. <laughs> oh. I really yeah. wanted Skylar to just pull in there and just ram Walt's car oh, no. <laughs> so she could get into her spot. I mean, a great <laughs> shot. So much show, don't tell them. Oh, just, oh, yeah. You know, just mm -hmm. in comes the old <laughs> wagoneer. <laughs> Can't, just kind of yeah. chucks. No room for her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, there really her isn't. Her being pushed out. She pushed doesn't aside. really exist. Totally ignored. Wait, where's my spot? No, hello? But she's ignored all over yeah. this episode, yeah, just in general. Yeah. Until um, she forces, you know the the uh, the other thing I just want to point out. This was Mike August was mentioning a lot of boxing references with you know Philadelphia and remember right. Mike Rocky wearing the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah he remember from Philly and stuff. Mike was wearing the um, Everlast. Right. Um, also, just Challenger, which is you know being a challenger, a champion and a mm -hmm. challenger. You know, so. By the way, for me, what I liked was you know you guys talking about the back and forth. Oh, Junior's got to have one. He's literally trying to buy Junior back. Yeah. From right. Hank. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, we saw that throughout the whole episode. I especially like the, it's, this isn't really Heisenberg, but the scene right after when they're talking about cars and mm -hmm. really having so that much oh, fun. Yeah, yeah. Teasing about doing the donuts. Yeah, and yeah, him. Exactly. And she's, and, and to you know, Maria, what you were saying, Skylar is, is dead. Totally ignored. She's just sitting there. Yeah. And if you notice the interior of the house now, is so dark. Yeah, it's it's a morgue. It's just a, it's barely a funeral home now. Pools of light everywhere. Just it just gets dark and, and dotted uh, with light. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. dressed, you know, totally in black, yeah. and um, is is like I said, is gone. Yeah, that's uh, Skyler. Yeah, that's got it. Well, uh, because another one is taking her place, which we're gonna get to soon. Yes, <laughs> not just yet. <laughs> but wha so wh wh what? Let's just, since we're talking about the Heisenberg thing, what what do we think about the significance of him at the end with the hat and the thread? They made a specific point of showing us when 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 Hank when, sorry, when Mike says when they're having the argument Mike and Jesse really, you know Mike wants to kill Lydia and Jesse's saying whoa 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 and he they're having that little argument they want to take it to a vote and they make that significance of showing uh, Walt notice that thread on his hat I got, you guys got anything for that I just Anybody felt like it anything? didn't matter what they were talking about he has his plan and he just yeah. isn't concerned with them I have he's something so, to look so up just next. concerned so with this little fiber on, that on his hat it doesn't matter what else yeah. is going on right. I well, think that's I'm going exactly to look something up because yeah. behind him was a poster that said there were the flies no, and, and the, one of them the was bee. a black soldier fly that was uh -huh. the one that was visible I know there was a bee what looked like a bee to the left but it wasn't because I read the, the tag but uh -huh. it was cut off but a black soldier fly. Let's check it out. It's well, a common you widespread that, fly. Oh, okay. You have it that quick. I forget you're an iPhone person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but but a soldier fly, you know, Maria, is probably the fact that, you know, you have soldiers in battle. You have soldiers in the mafia. You you know, it's a, yeah. it's a, you know Jesse's a soldier. Like that. Larvae are sold as feeders for owners of fish or composting grubs. Hmm. Keep talking out loud. That's Let's good. see. Yeah. <laughs> well, any, any other thoughts? No, any nothing interesting. No? Okay. But anyway, I thought there, there has to be something about... Well, if the the other interesting thing is the correlation between that and notice on the barrel... Mm -hmm. There was that right. what was fly the or bee was or an whatever insect whatever or yeah. some kind of insect. Yeah, no I problem. mean, the so. flies could be significant in the fact that all these other things are just little gnats that Buzzing are just around. annoyances. Mm -hmm. right. you know? I've, in terms of the Heisenberg, going back to that, you not only got his hat, which is certainly emblematic of 
who Heisenberg is, but he also got another thing, which was the watch. Mm -hmm. So he's, you know, talking about getting paid. He's got the car. He's got the watch. He's really starting the to. The watch meant so much. It, the yeah, watch from huge. the only birthday gift he really got because yeah. you didn't see Hank give the gift, but I know no. he had it on his lap in the car. Yeah. But he got a gift from his son. His son, exactly. Right. And it was watch. And I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, in the scene uh, immediately following when uh, – as Skyler takes a dive, so to speak, when <laughs> <laughs> when he's in that, when Walt and uh, uh, Mike are in the dining area and they're talking to each other and that, that was really prominent that Mike has this nice watch on. And that's oh, whole great pickup. There I the entire Which time. Scene? When, right after Skyler does her, she, she's yeah, in the pool. Yeah, yeah. And when we come back from that, uh. Walt and Mike are, t uh, are t I'm sorry, Hank are talking and Hank's going, has this ever happened? Well, really prominent, uh, prominently showed in the scene is Hank's got his big old watch on, mm -hmm. his big old manly watch mm -hmm. on. And I thought, you know, because that whole, th and, and if you, prior to that, when they were talking in the birthday scene, uh, uh, when, when they're outside on the m veranda, so to speak, by the pool, uh, when uh, Walter Jr., uh, he says, happy birthday, Dad. Oh, and good promotion, Uncle Uncle Hank. So it's still that play between the That's two right. of them. Right. And ev even though he uh, has his birthday, yeah. Hank outdoes him by getting a promotion on the same day. Right. So I that forgot. watch has more that. significance there because... And it's, and it's all about time, too. I think yeah, and it had red... The second yeah. hand was red. Thing. Yep. Time taken out on that. So and I thought that... So. And, and it was interesting that Jesse had said to him, you know, the receipt's in the box. Uh, yeah. If you what want to change mean? it. I, I think we can look into the subtext of that, yeah. but I think it was just a writer's tool mm -hmm. just in case... A guy like Walt who might not know the value mm -hmm. of a watch like that. You know, mm -hmm. maybe he's a nerd and he doesn't know that like yeah. this watch is worth fifty grand or a hundred yeah. grand. But now we know when he went home or whatever he was able to see that receipt. So he in fact knows yeah. that, that he that he got the pimp yeah. gift, you know. And a watch like that for a guy is really significant anyway. Right. right. Yeah, so that was that's big. So it's like getting a Jedi sword or but something. But I, I loved his focus, nothing's yeah, nothing stops. Nothing this stops train. this train. This train, and nothing stopping time, and no yeah. nothing yeah. is stopping it. <laughs> well, there might be one thing stopping it. <laughs> well, hold on, one quick note. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the last time, th there was a whole episode dedicated to flies, you know, th and the Walt's oh word right. for it was contamination. Contamination. It's contamination. So, all right, you remember Great that episode, point. John? I do so, remember that. So I just want to bring that up. That you know what, it c there could be a contamination somewhere. Lydia. And uh, Lydia, yes, our next subject. <laughs> oh, and before we go any further, I want to thank people who are coming to AfterBuzz TV and clicking on that Amazon banner to make their purchases because that really helps us here. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know, uh, we have a banner, uh, a little button here at the AfterBuzz TV website. Anytime you need to make a, a, a website purchase, please come here first. Come to AfterBuzz TV first. Click on the Amazon banner. Mm -hmm. That'll take you right to Amazon. You can make your purchases. It won't cost you anything uh, except a, maybe an extra two seconds. And uh, for your trouble, AfterBuzz TV will get a little, uh, a nice little thank you from Amazon TV so to keep our lights on. So we can keep cooking. So, right. it's like so we can keep <laughs> so cooking can our meth and our keep meth. bringing you this uh, content. Yeah, Skater Boy actually <laughs> asked a question. He was kind of confused if we just get a portion of all the sales, even from private sellers. And I think he just didn't realize if you just have to click on the link that's on the AfterBuzz oh website you before just you go to Amazon. Just click and we on do get a portion of those. So, for right. instance, when I want to buy Kevin's... Uh, his new car, his, his, his new car. No, 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 I don't no, think no, Amazon sells no, cars. No, we'll have to make a deal with eBay. Okay. I want to buy Kevin a new razor for his birthday yeah, instead of going to Amazon. No, because you are like Skylar, and that's what I would get. I'm yeah. going <laughs> to go to <laughs> AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm going to click on the link, and I'm going to buy it through there so that AfterBuzz can keep on running. It's amazing. Perhaps if you would like to buy someone my book, honey, you should go to AfterBuzz. Oh, you know how many times I've done that? That's yeah. why I think on New York Times bestseller list. Oh, there you go, thanks, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the the only thing that looks like it's uh, trying to slow down the train is Lydia. Uh, oh, we were going to go to Hank first. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, we could talk about Lydia. Yeah. Uh, no, let's talk about Hank. Okay, let's, okay. Go, let's go to Hank. Because By the way, Dean Nor Norris lost some weight. He you did notice it? Yeah, yeah, did he? Uh, I you didn't notice. I, I didn't notice that. I, I think he has lost weight. Okay. I want to find out. All right. Because either it's that or the stuff is fitting him back here, but I think right. it's... I think he's lost Well, it's because since we're talking about the rise in Heisenberg, we can talk about the rise in Hank because he got back. He's back in action. Not only did he get back in action, but he got a promotion. And live, And by the way, Mike August you know, said to me this um, just recently uh, within like the last few minutes, but his, the limp is gone. So yeah, we'll well, it was a little bit of a limp. Slight, but. Yeah. He's, he's healed. A little bit of a limp. We saw it when we were in the factory. Also, like. All his feet going by. I'm noticing less joking. 
Right. Remember how much yeah. how he used to joke so much at the job? Yeah. He's focused. I mean, yeah, look at focused. that web he built on the wall. I mean, it's yeah. impressive that he's made so many connections. Even though they said this is a really tough case, Gomez was yeah. like, this is a tough one. They've made so much progress. They've got Mike's name and picture up on the wall. They had everybody associated with. But what I loved is, and what, what my question to you guys the entire time I was watching this was, you know, he took the promotion. First of all, he thought yeah. something, he thought they were getting rid of him. He, that what you th yeah, you yeah. sure. Yeah. He was like, what's going on here? I didn't get that he at all. He mentioned El Paso. But, but I wonder, what did you guys think about him taking the promotion? And now does this take him away from the case? And was that the intention? Is there something going on? I mean, these guys were connected to, to, to Gus, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And not that they don't want to get him, but maybe... He, you know, cops are always embedded somehow with dirty people. Yeah. Sometimes, not always. Yeah. I shouldn't say it like that. But no, but Gus but think was. About, we know the guys back in Boston, sure. mob connected with no, cops. No, and also and Gus was allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> Gus was yeah. always at police events. Yeah, exactly. I so mean, maybe I, I, he and has. I did not think so, but I don't I, rule it I, out. I, I, that wasn't my take on it. First of all, I didn't think that Hank thought he was getting fired. I, why would they fire him? The guy figured everything. He was right, right. all along, and everybody else was but wrong. But sometimes people hate it when you're right and True. they were wrong and but they didn't figure it out. I There's didn't. I know, but I didn't buy. I didn't. I didn't see that from Hank. I think he was like one. He was concerned about where they were going with this because uh, that's all I said. I didn't see him so thinking, "Oh, you're going to get fired." For? About well, like, what? Why you? Why you? Why do? You, why wouldn't anybody? Yeah. I think anybody be concerned if you send somebody out of the room. Well, right. what's going right. on? Right. Not, but what would not he be thinking? Like you said, if he was bulletproof, then what would he? Be I don't worried? think he's bullet. I don't think he's. You're never bulletproof in anything that you're doing. Uh, but I don't. I didn't think for a second he would think he would get fired. Because why? What, what? What? What would there be a reason to fire him for? Mm. I just didn't think that. The other thing was that. Um, what was the other point that you made? You were saying that uh, I didn't think. He was Does it fired. take him away from the case? Oh, yeah, that part. I, I know think he's it, in charge. I don't of think all they were them. taking him away from the case. I don't think that. But remember, they fired the, the guy. Who else are they going to put? Why not? I mean, the guy who knew everything and who had it all figured out, you promote him. You yeah, you look smart because you promoted the guy that had it all it figured out. It felt organic. It felt like. And it but felt honestly, I think it had nothing to do with that. I think it was the writers pushing him to the side a little bit so he can play with the Skyler uh, Walt storyline before he. Because you know, you know Hank's going to come back. It also, yeah, absolutely. He's not going to be satisfied sitting in a desk. Makes exactly. it more interesting, too, to turn. You know, you want to turn the heat up. So, yeah. So now you you put more on Hank. Yeah. Because he's going to be in this this administrative position. Yeah. But he's going to be pining for his. Right. And he's not going to be satisfied with right. getting. Yeah. I'm. You know, you know. But I'm. Not, you know. Because he's a guy that likes to sink his teeth in something and not let go. But also that could be part of the problem. He's been so close and so uh -huh. in it that maybe now when he takes a step back, That's he'll see good. what's been right That's under great. his nose. That could be very I agree good. With that, that could be very yeah. good. Yeah. And I just think that he definitely took it for Murray. He said, I have to take this position or my wife will kill me. Mm -hmm. He knew he had and to. And she would. Exactly. But I don't if think he told he, her. Right. I don't think he wants to be out of the field, though. I mean, he's motivated by being right. His job is what makes him happy. Not Murray, not his family. It's yeah. being right and the success in his job. And being behind a desk is not going to give him what he wants. Mm -hmm. I definitely think he'll be back out in the yeah. field before too long, but stepping back we is know exactly he what yeah. he it's needs inevitable. to do. It's inevitable. I liked his. Right. Did you, did you uh, like his? Uh, what, what do they call those case boards? Whatever. Oh, I loved it. And then they, they the red line. Then they shot through, through it. Line. They had like a plexiglass yeah. version. They yeah. shot through that. Oh. I love it. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you guys notice that Gomi Gomez like never backs Hank's instincts, and his instincts are always going in the right direction? He's definitely like the dumb cop versus the you know, <laughs> smart cop, especially with Lydia. Right. Yeah. He's like, I don't know, you know. Yeah. She's but how about Hank just noticing? Nobody else noticed the, the shoes. shoes. Yeah, he's yes. getting sharper Maybe, and yeah. sharper. And I, but and I know he wasn't as he's certain not as quippy, but I loved all his language. What do you call her, Lady Banjo Eyes or whatever he called <laughs> yeah. her? And then yeah. the yeah. Burgermeister. The I mean, he still Meister had all the Burger. names, and I love that. No, but I love this. But language. he notices the mismatched shoes. Yeah. So you've got like the complete like dueling things. You've right. got him noticing something so sharp and yeah. so amazing. Mm -hmm. But then he's in the car with Marie, yeah. and he's like, I was 10 steps ahead of you. Yeah. I knew that's what the second cell phone was for. Sorry, honey. That's what Walt's been up to. Yeah. And she's like, it wasn't Walt right. that, you know, the infidelity. And that's his Achilles heel. Right. That he thinks he is ahead. I mean, he thinks he does know everything. And so Can't that see my the thing right in front of his face. My favorite part about that scene was I had final confirmation that Walt, that Hank has no clue <laughs> what Walt is doing. No. Because up until now, he gives you yeah. those shades when he's acting. You're like... Does he kind of know? Yeah, Maybe yeah, he no, does. No. Maybe he's kind of a w on this trail. Yeah, no. no, no clue. He doesn't. No. He d yeah, Just I love that. See it. Because, because 
he's fern green and blends right mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. But now he's not going to be, so it'll probably be easier to see, especially because you said he has perspective now. Just thinking about game talking the cinematography on this, which is yeah. so simple but so simple? effective. Simple? Nothing simple about it. It's yeah. genius. It's but it's simple, Maria. And oh. You should know better in terms of where where are your cranes, where are you. you yeah. I'm saying it's simple. It's like they're just locking down the camera, just the the uh, shot through the windshield of Hank and Marie driving. Yeah, that was nice. They didn't have to go that far. Yeah. Clearly and they had two statement. different angles, uh, two different lenses on it, right. too. That was interesting. Nothing's accidental so on this show. No. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> mm -mm. So. Uh, and okay, so Lydia, let's get to her now. So okay, okay just comic relief, which I know our fans <laughs> <just> hate <laughs> because they all just want <laughs> the analysis. Yeah. Every time I see Lydia, Maria, I just, all you guys got to do is, oh, Phil, you know what? Throw a web camera. Next dinner party Maria throws at the house. Stream it on After Buzz TV. Uh, we'll we'll put a camera up, and you can see like twenty Lydia's. <laughs> uh, you're lucky. Oh, I he needs a Heisenberg. Th he's oh. lucky he didn't say anything about me. No, go you're ahead. I thought no, it was you're, you're not Lydia. No, no, you're not Lydia. No. You're not Lydia. Okay, but but come on, how many Lydia's? Just the neurotic I'm friends with. Oh my God! It's well, just who are in power and in business and completely neurotic. But and the, the best is like they're like oh. flashing by John. John and I both like kind of at the same time. We're like, wait, what did that plaque say? It was like <laughs> yeah. excellence and leadership and business. Outstanding leadership. Or what is okay, it? So and then she's there going. <laughs> but wait, wait, out. it's funny and yeah. this, that, and the other thing. But you, it means something, you guys. Sure. Right. It means something. Like yeah. That she's gonna have a significant role here. Yeah. Also, Houston, Texas. Yep. And then later on when she's trying to shut the power off yeah. on the screensaver is a flag of Texas. Mm -hmm. Something, there's more to it. It's not as simple as you think. You know, there's more to her yeah. as we're going to find out. Well, she had two well. names. So there, I bet you the two names mean something. She was probably married quail. to someone really, really important or her original maiden name was really important mm -hmm. to have the two last names. Or she killed him. And maybe well, that's well, why. What we're going to miss out on, unfortunately, is, and you know, like other like Supreme fans and geeks are going to get is what was being said in German. Yeah, that's in, the thing we don't have. In any. the background, yeah, you know, in those conversations, yeah. I'm sure well, there's going to be a lot there. Uh, it was not important. You know why? A, because we would know if it was important. B, you could tell she wasn't even paying attention. She was just on a conference call. I've been on it them before. It was important to her, Maria, but subtext and symbolism, no, I'm sure it but was. But my point is, is like, I'm on those conference calls sometimes, and I've seen other people be in, like, morning meeting conference mm -hmm. calls, and you're not really paying attention. You're doing your thing, and then you just spit something out and pretend like you're paying attention, and you're, like, oh, I get that, Maria, but the I think that's what she was doing. But absolutely, but Vince Gilligan, in writing, there's clues there to what is going on. We need I'm someone sure. from Germany watching yeah. After Buzz uh, right now me, to tell us. We have fans, and they'll, they'll tell we us. We actually yeah. do have fans, so. actually. Sure um, we'll but you know, the, also the uh, notice the production design. Yeah. And I mean, I was thinking how you know when we flew Lufthansa to to Greece, a uh -huh. German airline. Yeah. And the difference between American airline overseas and and even uh, the British airlines overseas, you know, it's pretty festive. Uh -huh. you know, lots of movies, right. and cocktails, and they have bars and crisps and. <laughs> When Three of them on a plate, and you're like, wow, you're so generous. When you think of Three Lufthansa, <laughs> yeah. it was just same thing, very sterile, yeah, yeah. very clean, or and that's it. Yeah, exactly. But no frills. And, and, you know, and that office, same thing. Yep. It was very gray, mm -hmm. lots of gray and glass and, yep. and steel, and you know, yeah. German company. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and um, so I, I love that, but you know, in stark contrast, when we get to the warehouse... Oh. It was just, I mean, even though everything was ordered, yeah, your, 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 your yellows, your reds, yeah, your blues, all, all of the, it's very interesting. the colors we're used And to. I love that shot. You see it, you know, I, I didn't, the first time, I didn't even really get the shoe thing. I was like, why yeah. is she looking at her shoes? I didn't even, I didn't even see it because the shot was so, but then as they were, I just thought that was great as they were walking through the the uh, factory, warehouse, excuse me, uh, just her heels and then all the men. Yeah. Just shows shoes that are Yeah, it was just a great shot. There. But what I thought was interesting is why she lied. You know, I didn't guess, why is she lying to uh, Mike when she says, they came barging in here screaming and swearing at me? I didn't get it. I was like, what's she playing? See, I didn't notice that. That's because the first thing she says to Mike. To me, I thought she was just because she's so freaked out. That's her perception. Could be, but I was like, w w where did they, they didn't do Well, now you know why, but yeah, you because, know why. Yeah, because she was trying to But say was it. she? Because to me, when I see this, right. I saw her look. When she looked up and she saw it, she got all confused, and then she flashed a light on, and she looked at it again, and she had a heart attack. So you, you don't think I she planted it? I actually believe her. Okay. I do. And Jesse. 
Yes, I believe right, her. So, so you think if somebody else did that? I think so. Just from her reaction, mm -hmm. I think that she could have played it a different way, and she could have been like, like looking over it. What's that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. And she didn't. She she looked up and she was like, "What the hell?" And had a legit heart attack. To me, I bought it. Okay, Kevin. Phil? You know, I I'm thinking no because I think she's a neurotic person, but also a master manipulator, yeah. and I, and I do trust Mike. However, we can't keep making Jesse out to be the dunce in this because he's uh -huh. not. No, and he could be. I could see him being correct in saying, "No, we're, we're, it's it's wrong. It's not. Right. It's not, you know. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt." Right. So what I don't do know. I'm 50 Phil, 50. what was your? Idea? I'm gonna go with this. I I trust Mike, mm -hmm. and and the mistake that I think everyone's making is that they're not. Uh, I return back to season three. You know, ha um, Mike has done already one half measure. I right. know. No and half by measures. letting her stay alive. He already even says, like, that's what I get for being nice to her, whatever oh, he says. It's for being sexist. Sexist, <laughs> yes. And uh, he should have killed her that time. But what was the reason why he should have killed her the first time? Because it, she sent people yeah. to kill his she, crew. His guys. Kill list. Oh, that's right. She, that's she, right. She, and, and began, like, uh, got them all turning on each other. Yeah. I mean, she created a nightmare. Yeah. Like, all I your couldn't friends. remember. And you, like you, all my you, friends. you agree with Maria, then, Kristen? You know what? I think the point about Jesse, you mm -hmm. know, even Mike kind of put him down. So I feel like he has a point there. And Mike's been looking for a reason to go back and get Lydia. Right. So this is uh, exactly what he was looking uh, for. I, I, but I, I, I'm that. trying to figure out if it wasn't Lydia, who else would do something? I don't buy for a second that it was right. cops or any DEA. Or I don't think they would. That did, it seems that like something seem she right. would do. So yeah. not not that know. way. They they're mu they have much better equipment than that. And it's well for me GPS it was thing. it was the fact that he said this is sloppy even by cop standard. Mike says. Yeah, yeah that makes so me nervous. That, no. That's why I buy it. And and the fact that you guys are even arguing that Lydia could have done this or couldn't. She she's, she's that a manipulator. She's yeah. that which, is, which is what I love because we don't we hardly know anything about it's her. All we know is that she's kind of a she's a nutcase yeah. for for the most part. So which is great because then we still we're doing this. It did she didn't she because I could I could almost believe your argument that she's she's just yeah. nuts but I more more than anything I would just believe that she's manipulative yeah and, and I think it's a half measure yeah. meaning she she should have been yeah. she should be killed but then again see and I think there's a reason that they didn't kill her mm -hmm. because it's it would be so Who's easy for him Maria? for Mike and them like yeah. for now it's like it's so much easier Mike's gonna go there and what kill her and then what yeah I don't think but this is what here's the thing she won that award, a, you know, right. a standing right. leadership in business. That's she, right. And clearly, at least in, in our eyes, what we've seen of her, she's not really a leader, but she's manipulative enough yep. to get people to think she may be because right. we're even having this argument. Right. Well, and you can tell in the previews for next week that she manipulates more time yeah. out of them. Exactly. Because yeah. she's like, I know where you can go here's, get here's more of this. Here's the thing is, is, is it feels like it's a half measure in not killing her. Yeah. But would... Is killing her going to save Mike or or save Walt or the business? I mean, I kind of feel like I feel like Walt will. I think it's going to be it's going to be Mike's demise for not killing her. But was yeah. Walt's That's final thing, final words to not kill her? Is that what he meant by what All he said? All he said was, it's no. like Kristen was saying, he's yeah. obsessing about the thread. The he, train won't stop. He didn't say anything. I he, could care less. He but yeah. but we Jesse does. We need to keep does. cooking and making money. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse, Jesse says at the end when he goes to the car, he's like, that was a good thing uh -huh. that you did, I think. Like yeah, well, he said something I think Jesse that. believes that what he said was, uh, Jesse, in his mind. That Jesse he backed him up. That, yeah, that he backed him up and then, okay, we're not going to kill her. Because Jesse just wants to stop killing people. Yeah. But also, Mike, I think less than half having an excuse for going to get her because I don't think he was really thinking like every day like how do I get Lydia yeah. I think he was thinking more of you know he's I, I kind of sense with Mike that he's kind of tired of all of this right. he's only in it because he wants to get some money for the baby for his granddaughter and to make it right with his guys yeah and I, I kind of don't think he really wants to be doing this I think no. he's doing it you know half-heartedly and so that's reluctant. why it's like if we have to slow down we slow down but yeah. right only somebody but, but more than anything, he doesn't want to have to deal with this in that case. Is yeah. I think well, I forgot no, what was and the word. No, she used. almost and she she's a uh, really bad loose Liability. end. She almost yeah. killed all his guys. She just needs to die, move on. Yeah. And he's not as emotional. He's yeah. real good at this, you guys. So yeah. he'll wait. We'll wait. Another, we're going to go down for another two, three weeks. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll find it. We'll find another. We'll make way. our money. It's always a way. He's you know he's yeah. not as emotional. Whereas yeah. Walt. Well, to Mike's is. credit, uh, you know when they're he's on the phone with Lydia and she's like you know they took the guy and Mike's just like. 
I'll get another guy. Exactly. And the other <laughs> guy shows yeah. up, and it's great that it's, it is yeah. Jesse. Yeah, that's terrific. Mike is definitely, though, uh, fairly sure of the price that he's going to end up paying. <laughs> going to Kevin's point, which I, I think, yeah, I think he's, he's the one that's going to end up paying the price right. because he, he didn't do what he should have done. And I think he's going to get factored out of this yeah. equation. So I think so, too. He's the one that's fa- going to get factored out. And it was interesting. Like, he's such a great actor. But Jonathan did you see Banks? His, did you see his Jonathan Banks' yeah. reaction when uh, uh, Jesse physically stopped him? Yeah. He just was yeah, like, was are like, you kidding me, dude? You really? Yeah, and he doesn't say step aside. He no. doesn't say get out of my way. He says get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Which move, I move away, away from me. From me. <laughs> Which I thought was great. Which I was, <laughs> go ahead, sorry. He kind of insults Jesse and Jesse's intelligence like Walt used to. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, what I liked, I don't know why I was thinking this, but when he said move away from <laughs> from me <laughs> I was thinking wow you know you see that on a script it just says move away from me you choose how you want to yeah. say it right yep. kind of cool that he made that choice uh, right yeah, absolutely that was a really good choice I don't know not let's that important but uh, since we're talking about it let's continue th- about the Walt Mike and Jesse uh, triumvirate that they had there when they were having the whole discussion how about that Jesse really Mr. Pleading White like crea- yeah Mr. Mr. White, White. <laughs> Mr. White come to my defense help me out here we're back to buddy. Mr. White yeah exactly all that back. I haven't heard that in a while I yeah. loved it yeah I love Jesse. I mean, I know this show is supposed to be about Walt, but he's like the heart of Breaking Bad. Yeah, still, it's conscience. But what's the only one exactly? With one. But that's what's amazing is with with Jesse. You know, you still sympathize and love him, whereas Walt, every day, I have less understanding for and less like like more anger. Uh-huh. I, I mean, he touches Skyler, and I'm like, ew, I want to yeah. puke. Um, you know, whereas before he was a bit of a sympathetic <laughs> character. Well, yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. We sympathize with him. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, it, of course, because we went from a guy who's totally he's wonderful human, a lot of humanity, a lot of, and we're just slowly, slowly taking, I mean, and that's the way it's always been designed. Yeah. We're going to take him from, was it Mr. Chips, whatever, down to Scarface? Right. So that's it. So, yeah, each week. Uh, you're going to have a harder and harder time relating to him because he's getting worse and worse. Wait, well, we ma- talk although, about ma- him? make sure to bring that up because she says to uh, Skyler says to Hank, or uh, Walt rather, hey, don't try to tell me about your rationale. Yeah. So make your sure to bring that up. Bullshit we'll rationale. Can we go into Walt next? Yeah, but first we've got to talk about iTunes. Kevin? Oh, yes. You iTunes. had a really good take on this. Uh, oh, for iTunes? Yeah. You know, just please keep going and, and rating and commenting on us at iTunes. It really helps us with the network. And I just want to give some shout outs to some of the people that have um, Secret Six, Robbie Boy uh, 1227, and Snooky17. Thank you for our reprieve. We appreciate yes. it. We're <laughs> going to continue to try to get better. And uh, to uh, uh, Christian Rowan, um, just. We, you know, would take your comments to heart. Um, as, as far as that interview goes uh, with, the, with Stu, one oh of the yeah, producers, we uh, it wasn't just technical difficulties. We, we, he literally couldn't hear us, yeah. and we couldn't hear him. And then we turned into three Stooges in here, <laughs> trying to. Everyone tried to scramble and get to the one working mic. We, we were prepared for the interviews. We had several questions we weren't able to ask him. Um, we will continue to try to do better uh, in the future. And then also, please check out our interview with him at the end of last season. Yeah. We had him in studio, completely separate of everything, and we really got into some great stuff. So um, check it out if you have a chance. The other thing is uh, about the plugs, like this one. Um, the reason we don't do them at the beginning is then people would just fast forward over them, and then we, it, it couldn't be a plug. And uh, Plus, we got to talk about the show first. Plugs later. Yeah, we're also excited to to come in and just and, like I'm excited. To so talk about anyway, Walt. but 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 we thank you and we thank everyone else and we ask that you continue to come to iTunes and to rate and comment. It really helps. And Kristen, anyone on YouTube? Yes, we have Red Jack Rose, WFB86, Deb00, Noel Angelina Smitterin, DK White, Super Hot Nanny, Skater Boy, Eric N, and Caps Fan. And Super Hot Nanny said something interesting. She said Walt isn't coming off as scary as he's supposed to be. Wow. What do you guys no, think? Well, no pleasing people. Can we go into Walt? Because I have some thoughts. Well, we, we, <laughs> and yes, it will we go gotta, right into her comment. We're skip right over Sky? We'll go to Skylar after. I'm so much more excited to talk about Walt <laughs> right now. Well, which is why Poor we should Skylar. leave it for last. This is why okay. when, when someone says something like that, well, the biggest thing I notice in this episode about mm-hmm. Walt is that when he is at home, yeah. he has made it so eerily comfortable and so eerily normal, even though it's so mm-hmm. not normal. Like mm-hmm. he's he's back hanging with you know Walt Jr. and chatting yeah. and like oh no 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 and like his birthday and I want chocolate cake and and like and, and honey I just want to keep moving forward and all these things and I'm like 
It's as if he is not making meth. It is as if he didn't just murder all these people yeah. and isn't responsible for all these deaths. Oh, gangster. It's no, 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 Kev, it is eerie. It is eerie. His behavior is so Jekyll and Hyde like yeah. never before. I don't know if well, you guys not felt that. What was her name? Hot nanny. Hot nanny. Super hot Apparently nanny. Not, 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 not eerie enough for her. But <laughs> I don't know what you have planned for I, my birthday. Exactly. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have shit planned He's for your <laughs> birthday, actually. <laughs> actually. Yeah. Well, I, you know. Okay, Kevin. Yes. I'm raising my hand. Yes, please, Kevin. Maria. <laughs> Here it comes. This is the guy that the wife was. Just a year, a year ago. A year ago. You know, that he was lucky he got. Uh, a hand job for his birthday while <laughs> she was bidding on items on eBay. That was his <laughs> okay. life. And, that was his and so life. Now, and from his perspective, <laughs> all he's asking for now is a chocolate cake. Yeah. Oh. For, so <laughs> wait a second. It's all about how many times <laughs> do I have to say this to us in our business life. It's about people's perspective. Mm -hmm. so what What's Walt's perspective? Is that yeah. his 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 genius in, in chemistry, and his brain was stolen by his two partners who yeah. went on become g become gazillionaires. He ends up with a handicapped kid. For all we know, that handicapped kid could be from the radiation exposure, that he, uh, the chemical exposure he had earlier in his life. And then, of course, now he's got cancer. He's got a crap job. He's working at a car wash, getting crapped on by an... I mean, if you go back to all of that, he went from that to taking down one of the most powerful mm -hmm. drug lords in the world, saving his yeah. family and having them come out with much, much money and single-handedly doing all this, winning this giant chess game. And if you see, like, he just wants to have a drink and, and celebrate with somebody. Yeah. And really nobody's there for him yeah. other than we're seeing Jesse. So he's like, I think I'd like to have a party. And you know what? Celebrate She's something. got two two rotisserie chickens that she bought yeah. from an Albertsons <laughs> exactly. or, or Ralph's. Yeah, and and so amazing. I'm saying from his perspective. And then the microwave sound. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, so from his perspective, he just put all he wanted. And yeah. again, I notice in my relationship, everyone, <laughs> is that when I have these, like, victories in my, like, stupid world, there. my Skylar here <laughs> is just like, yeah, whatever, really? You're going to pay for that. So, no, whoa, no, that's 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 not, whoa, that's, that's, that's not a habit. Hold <laughs> the phone. Hold okay. the phone. Wow. <laughs> Mr. I never want to celebrate anything because there's no victories. I need <gasps> more. I need, no, no. All right, let's not, let's not die this. Okay. Uh, I'm the one who's like, let's stop let's and a smell a the roses. <laughs> A good one. Please return at once. Yeah. Our systems detect that a host has wandered off the subject. Please return at once. Doesn't get used enough. Yeah, exactly. Just like, just like Tribeca. Oh, uh, remember, John, when yeah. we are fi premiering our film our at Tribeca? Thank you. Host has wandered off the subject. That's great. Courtney Please lost her passport. Once. We have to go. Our our enough. Okay. Okay. We move forward. So. We but talk about speaking Hank to your and point about, <laughs> about Mike. Uh, excuse me, Walt. Walt. He's so good at compartmentalizing. He doesn't put all that together. <coughs> what he's put together, and, and this speaks to the part I hear about um, perspective. He saved his family. That's right. And they against were who, kill John? Oh they were going to kill everybody. And now I, I'm, I, I agree that right. it's he's eerie and sick. And against and weird. who? It's one thing yeah. against the neighbor across the street with a gun. He took right. down. He took on a fucking army. Oh yeah. <gasps> You just said the F. Had a through the get my point across. Yeah, we exactly. have something. <laughs> so, uh, and, Foul and language <laughs> detected. And Foul and language detected. And, and never was there any <laughs> kind of appreciation. <laughs> but instead of appreciation, he got fear and resentment from his wife. Right. Now, I, I agree. I, I, from her perspective, why would I give you any kind of a, You put us in that place. Right. So you, I mean... Yeah, so I understand that. But again, from the perspectives, I get, yeah, the, the other oh, people. I just the, love he, when she was. When he wanted she the, was the, the gangster wife who, yeah. you know, who would stand behind him. He I didn't want, it's funny, if you go back to Godfather, yeah. which I felt this was this a was huge very parallel like to Godfather. Yeah, absolutely. You think you take my children away from Kay was the same yeah. kind of wife as, as Skyler yeah. to Pacino and mm -hmm. was like, I'm taking the children yeah. with me. And he's like, you yeah. would take. You're, you're taking my, my children. children. You know that could never happen. Yeah, could never but happen. P.S. This is all perspective, just like you said earlier, because his perspective is that he took the danger away, and her perspective is, I thought you were the danger, yeah, just well, like he, he said, said that, right? right? Yeah. Right. So and so. So but now but, what? But, but, well, where's you're, but you're questioning where the hell yeah. Walt's mind is with this, and I'm telling you, that's where his mind is at. But but more importantly, the the correlation to. <laughs> You know, we've had the Scarface yeah. one, and, and well, this, this is, is clearly Godfather. Clearly, because Godfather. In Godfather. It's 
She try, I'm taking the children you know away. That, that it's not a reality. It can never be a reality. Yeah, yeah. that's what the, um, and, Michael and Walt, Corleone says. And Walt basically says the same thing. That yeah, never, you have exactly. it, never taking my children right. from me. Brian Cranston said something very interesting about his transformation. He was talking about how even like the meekest person could become dangerous given yeah. the right circumstances. And he's like, if I said, let me punch you 50 bucks right now, you'd be like, no, no, why? Why would you want to do that? And then like everyone has a money ticker. So how about 50,000? And then maybe you'd start asking questions like, well, when would I get the money? Where and should details. I hit you? <laughs> like, where are you going to hit me? He's like, it just escalates, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not just the money. It's what money does. And he said it affects you physically and it affects you emotionally to have a pocket full of money for the first time in his life. Walt feels it's powerful. And it just kind of mm -hmm. spun out of control from there. But speaking you, to your point about danger, everybody always thinks if I'm in that position, it'll be different when I'm running it. Yep. Yeah. They always think that. <coughs> and that's what he's I, saying to her. He's pleading right. with her. I'm in charge. And, and she's like. And yet there's something that happens that you get seduced by the whole thing. And how are you going to be different as a drug lord than the next guy I or the previous know, guy? I want to know when they were sitting by the pool. What was he doing by saying his whole speech? Well, what you know, was I that, that all about? His reflection. I, I honestly thought that part of it was completely genuine. He did feel that they had helped him because it had been a rough year. He had gone through cancer and that they had said something. They had kept mm. him going. I, yeah. I think that was that part of the, the I part don't of know. For me, it was that they're still trying to keep him in touch with that small sliver of humanity he still has. That's what uh -uh. I think it was. I think he was making it believable because of that, because he has those small pieces that are true, that he did mm -hmm. feel, and then it's kind of he can just create a – fabricate an entire story off of those few real pieces. But that's also, why it's so believable. But also he's got – Hank, who was just promoted mm -hmm. to like run the DEA, right? <laughs> Don't you think there was something in that speech where he was just reminding him about all the struggles, making sure that anything that could be leading Hank to Walt – you know, it's like, oh, these struggles in Skyler, don't you remember? But also manipulating Skyler back into his arms a little bit, right? Well, I thought that it part was, was all better. To me, it's all one Skyler, big manipulation right. of everyone at that table. Remember me? I was the victim. Remember me? The victim, the victim, the victim. And you all helped me, and I'm so appreciative. And Skyler was there for yeah. me. My head in Skyler's lap, <laughs> you know, and all I wanted to do was stop and shoot, you know. She the was cool just there with the towels. And I was sleeping on the cool no. floor. Yeah, that part I thought was totally manipulative of trying to win yes. Skyler, but I didn't buy I didn't, mm -hmm. I still don't think he was trying to manipulate Hank to, to, to say, look, I was a poor victim, poor me, don't, don't look at me as the drug lord. I don't think there's, no. a, I don't think he has any fear that Hank even thinks of him as a drug lord. Or as as even Heisberg, so I, I didn't I don't I, I don't see that I part. Think he was I only saw the manipulation with Skyler at the end. I agree. I think and that's when he went off, and then she was just yeah. like, "I am with a sociopath." Yeah. You know that he's able to wear this totally different face right. when he's really uh, a killer, and that's obviously you know we've got the. So who pool. who I I think Skyler going in the pool wasn't it wasn't completely reaction. I think she was at some I point. Think she I think it. she lost it, and I think. They sh the little precursor of the dental floss around the finger. With so the hideous the nail. Hanging. Did you see that nail? I didn't. <laughs> she saw oh! the nail. <laughs> it was like pointed and like horrible cuticles. It just showed what a mess she was. It was oh, brilliant. I didn't even notice yes, that. Yes, because so. most women have pretty manicured fingers okay. for the most part. But by the way, you it, know. this is the genius <laughs> of, show, of show don't yeah. tell. You got all that from one from a nail. little close-up of yeah. you know, exactly. the floss being tightened and on her finger. I am a mess. just. I don't know. How Speaking to that, whenever he walks in after everyone le leaves, he says, I know you're awake. Yeah. And then she kind of does wake up from the craziness. So yeah. I'm like, maybe she was a great actress. But Except when she, she when didn't he... have to show us, the yeah. viewer, that she was in a trance. She could yeah, have, she... again, the same thing with Lydia. Mm -hmm. Lydia showed me as an audience member that, like, she was really genuinely horrified. She didn't need to show me right. that. She just needed to show Jesse that. And right. when he asked her, he said, what was that out there? And she, I, the way she s said, well, that, she didn't say it because she didn't finish the sentence, but it was like, don't you, that was real. I mean, he yeah. didn't, but she didn't finish the sentence. But she had premeditated so many things that I see why you're saying that. Yeah. But like I said, she would show us. I don't think you have to show us yeah. what she showed us. There's a mix was. going on there. I mean, she's definitely disturbed at this point. Anybody would be in her situation. Yeah, but was I, she I, trying to commit suicide? I, no, I, no, no, I, no. And, and I, Hank pointed that out. Yeah, I, we, yeah, we yeah, were I don't all think it was suicide. Yeah, but yeah, because that's a really horrible attempt. Right. But it was certainly <laughs> a cry for help. Did I don't you, know what else to do. And that, I just, that's what it was. And, and symbolically, 
it, she's in over her head. It's all, you know, she's drowning and all that. I mean, all those kinds of mm -hmm. things. Are Going there. into the blue pool, which yeah. is the meth. With the blue skirt just and rising up skirt. over her head. I mean, head. there's the so blue, much. Yeah. You know, some it's of great. our fans like our taco color, others yeah. don't. But it was <laughs> all over this. I, I, I actually yeah. tracked everybody's change of outfits right. and the mm -hmm. arcs of it. But, but definitely going into the, mm -hmm. the blue. Which is the ice and the sun wearing ice, the blue. Yeah. He's in the red when they're, yeah. you know, because the danger mm -hmm. is when he when they go to pick up the yeah, the, the car. car, and then and the after that, once he, he gets his new car, it's the blue. Which uh, to me, and I think it was it was either Mike August or Steve Steamer who who said that more than likely it's his step toward Walt's business, which is the blue method, and over to Walt's side, and that yeah. is what, you know, is why she just would walk into that cold water. And, Did uh, you guys notice her smile? Her evil her smile swim. underwater. She was uh, holding her breath, and then suddenly she just got this weird Was it evil grin. smile, or was it sick? I didn't see the it smile. Was, I don't know. It, it was... I just saw Walt coming crazy. down to get her. <laughs> it didn't look like... It looked and like a smile. Lady Macbeth. Like, and I don't uh, know if it's... holding her breath. Oh, that's interesting. So you, Lady Macbeth. Well, yeah, I mentioned that last week, where she's walking around the halls, like, you know... And she says she has blood on her hands this week, so, so I mean, she's that's gonna, clearly she's gonna a bring Lady him down. thing going on. Um, mm -hmm. We'll talk about in predictions. Again, this, yeah. some st more stuff came in from fans, come in, some interesting theories about that. But um, Marie's uh, line when she was underwater, you hear her say, she's going to come up. She has to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah, she, yeah, she at some point. And how about that scene in the bedroom, though? I mean, going at it. I mean, I, toe again, to toe. Yeah. And Think about know, the boxing. That's yeah, again, they were was. toe yeah. to toe. And him, it just keep pushing her. It's like, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your plan? What's your plan? Because now he thinks he's the king of the plans. And that's it. That's the best you got. Oh, by the way. And yeah. you know what? She's a formidable opponent because yeah. we saw her take down the car wash right. guy. Mm -hmm. We saw her manhandle Ted. Yeah. But it just shows you, like, okay, now you going against Walt. Yeah. However. Uh-oh. What do we got? However. Right. This is someone who is in a moment of being broken and shattered because mm -hmm. she is terrified for her kids and right. she now has blood on her hands and she never did before, right? Right. right. Okay. So the second she comes out of this dark cloud mm -hmm. and she starts to use her brain a little bit, yep. I am more scared well, of gangster. her than I am of Walt well, because I think at the end of the day, she's going to be the one that takes him down. Well, especially because now she's that. really fe she's fearing for her children. Yeah, because right. remember with the with, with the nail salons, that, nope, nope, can't be do this, can't do that, and she figured out how to get the the car wash for what she wanted. She mm -hmm. she set that guy up, or, yeah. everything. Or is she gonna come around like Jesse did? She could no, but that's what they're setting up. But I don't believe so. No, she think. she's gonna f she may fake it. Yeah, she may, that's what I she think. I think it. she'll fake it. She the whole thing. She said, look, I can't keep you out of. This I, can't, you know, I have to keep laundering your money. I can't even keep you over my bed. Uh, she's doing all the things that she says that she has to do, but there's one thing that she won't do. So her break point is that she's not going to put those kids in jeopardy. But, but here's the thing that disturbed me, right? Mm -hmm. Is she asked him in this episode, "Wait, you're you're back to cooking?" She didn't know, and she yeah. was already disturbed. Mm -hmm. Now she knows he's cooking, and she yells at him in that scene, and she's like, she says, um, you know, and now you're back at it with our business. She called it our business. Yeah. Right. I thought that was really, really important. And, yep. and where does it end was my question yeah. is you want to get rid of the kids so you guys can keep at your business. Yeah. Where does this end in I your mind? But Why? she said it in, again later. It, she said our business can't affect our kids. Exactly. But I don't understand. Where does it end? Where does it end? Because if you are wanting to protect your children, you should be thinking about how to get out of this, not continue this. And so to me, she, the better plan if she really wanted to get out of the yeah. business is just escape with Holly and you know Walt Jr. he's an adult he, he'll handle it and figure I'm it out leave behind your son well there's yeah. got to be something that she could do did everyone love she her but I like that she just didn't have the pl she didn't have it all figured out yet but do you I love think that she will cool. but that's she what's will. amazing is that's she, gonna be great. She, she will. she's going to be underestimated as his opponent mm -hmm. and she's going to get he's already him. underestimating her he kind of yeah. helped her though too like narrow out what's not going to work so uh -huh. he's helping well, he, her yeah, he, past but he was trying to take away all her options like no matter what you come up with I've got it already figured out but he was scary I don't want him to lose to her I won't I'm really getting in a growing, uh, just a shrinking minority that just wants Walt you to want win. To, you want him to win. Yeah, so just and anyway. then she's like, I want to wait for your cancer <laughs> to come back. That was oh a great that line. And, and she looked at him like, how do you not know this? Oh my! You, you don't. You have everything else figured out, but you don't. You don't. You didn't get that. But that was like the dumbest line ever. He's in remission. Like, I mean, you're really grasping because you're grasping at straws. What if his cancer doesn't said, come back? It's not like but she said I would that. say that maybe if I knew his cancer was back. If I was said Skyler, she's out of options, and that she said, "No, yeah. you're not out of 
options. But that's what she trust me. I watch MSNBC. Perce- again, perspective Perception. because where she is right then, her, her perspective. She, she is. yeah, and he was just pulling out everything that she came up with. He had an, he already had it all figured out. So she was just well. Th- I, then I don't think I have because here's the other thing is I thought she was going to say I'm waiting. For you to die, because everybody dies in that business. I mean, Gus, we never thought Gus was going to die. And that guy got killed. So it's only a matter of time for a guy like that doing what he does before he's killed. And by the way, was Gus a a cancer? And is Lydia a cancer? I'm waiting for your cancer to come back. Oh, interesting. You know, or or the people from Germany. Sure. You know, that's so. a good point. But also, I don't know that she will kill him. But I think no, that no, she's she gonna make attend. the move. She no, could make she someone. Attend. She'll make it somebody else do it. She's not gonna do it dirty. You don't know. She might attempt. Yeah. You know, you're right. She could. I mean, there's a he lot. She was pushing there. her very yeah, far. Yeah, but she will set yeah. up a few calls, make something happen, orchestrate something like she he's, did with the car wash. I don't know that she needs anybody else. He's definitely messing with the wa- wrong person. I don't know because yeah. he does. He's she will not, be responsible. Ultimately, he's not aware of how good she is. He didn't get to see her with Ted when, right. and, and her right. handle the IRS agent. Good point. He doesn't know. That's what I'm saying. She's being underestimated yeah. right yeah. now. That's a, Don't mess with like the you bear You dumb wife, just go back to cooking me my did chicken you got, from Ralph's. Did you guys love her smoking her cigarette and the, yeah. and, and the cigarette <laughs> butts oh, going in the 51, 51 cup? 51 cup. His birthday yeah, exactly. gift. His birthday gift from Hank <laughs> and Marie. <laughs> There's going to be some more from money Walt coming Jr. in. Yeah. Fine. Yes, she yep. care. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, and what about him shaving his head? Yeah, nice. Video. That was Clean beautiful. Shot. Right after that yeah. scene, your cancer's going to come back. Yep. And that, there he is. There he is. Shaving the and head. And half with the shaving cream. Just half the half cream, half the one blood. Line oh. Oh, yeah. You can see the pores. In the, yeah. you know, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it was something. Just yeah. great. Yeah. Great cinematography. Yeah. So powerful. It was a powerful. great, great episode. It was very and then good. And next week's is going to be even No, I can't wait. We'll get to that next. Eating his Cheerios. Yeah, again, alone. Alone. Uh, alone. Oh, and then he's alone. like, "I'll be. Don't worry, I'll be right there." And then just goes back to, "Because oh. I'm in charge alone. now. They'll wait for me." Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that should take us to our commercial break. So, Phil, if you'd be so kind, please take and us. We'll to come break. back. We have amazing news. Oh, that's and gossip, right. Gossip and predictions. Huge stuff. Hey there, good buddies. The handle's Woolly Bear. I'm a truck driving man, but I'm not that old school kind of truck driving man. No. I like to listen to podcasts while I'm driving through these great United States of ours. And my favorite podcasts in the world are from AfterBuzz TV. And why? Because <laughs> AfterBuzz TV is like a post-game wrap-up show for all your favorite TV shows. Like Jersey Shore, Dancing with the Stars, Mad Men, and a whole truckload more. I like listening to my Gossip Girl podcast, catching up with all my fellow fans and getting all the latest news and gossip. You know, I got some strong opinions. And After Buzz TV lets me share those opinions with thousands of other listeners. Hooey! What a feeling! I used to doze off on those lonely stretches of road. And don't worry, I got the cruise control. But now I'm wide awake and listening to all the After Buzz TV goodness. <laughs> Check them out. Give them a holler. And tell them the old woolly bear sent you. Too bad. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Richard Wentworth and his, I'm sorry, Sir Richard Wentworth and his Sir Bear. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Richard. All right, so news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. All right, so last week we talked about the spinoff with Bob Oden- Odenkirk it's with Saw, and someone said to Vince that Vince actually confirmed there wasn't much truth to it, but that he's hoping that it would become true, but actually he wants to do a Western as his next project in okay. Albuquerque. He wow. said that he sees Breaking Bad as a Western in some senses, and he wants to just do a film after this. This is Bob that. or? No, this Vince. is Vince, Vince that wants to do a Western for his next project. You know, it's, it's, it would be amazing except that Deadwood's been done, and yeah. I feel like he would do another Deadwood, which I'd be happy to see. All right, and but he wants to do it as a film, not as he a He wants TV to do show. it as a film. Oh, great. So, Even better. Yeah, Yeah. so not a show. He said, gotcha. full out, full out, all the stops, Western. You know it'll be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the cinematography, you have so much to look forward to if you and I think do the re- that. And I think the reality of the, the gangsterism that went on back then, it was completely lawless. Yeah. yeah, Billy the Kid, one of the most famous Western outlaws, his stomping grounds were New Mexico. So there's a lot to do in that area. Also, uh... We have Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. We're talking about where they got their motivations for their acting. And for Aaron Paul, he said the meth issue hits home for him because he had a girlfriend who was an addict. So he kind of went through that with her. And that brings back full circle with the Jane story. 
And Brian Cranston said he actually gets his anger for the show because his parents were, when he thinks about the divorce and, um, he said, I have anger issues, he told Rolling Stone. There was alcohol abuse and there were broken lives. There were two broken people. It was ugly. I didn't see my father for 10 years. So wow. he thinks about that every time he needs to get angry in the show. So it was very interesting. And I think you have something, Maria? From yeah, I, uh, I got the July 20th issue of The Hollywood Reporter. You can see here uh, some of the cast members. Um, Hank, I mean, uh, Walt, Skyler, and... Um, Jesse are on the cover with the creator Vince Gilligan and a few couple little tidbits that I really liked as I posed to you earlier what did Breaking Bad mean you guys didn't really know officially but I will tell you that Breaking Bad is a southern colloquialism colloquialism that's the hardest word in the world for me to say <laughs> um, that means raising hell mm. right and then the other thing that I thought was interesting is when they were pitching this show Breaking Bad to the different networks uh, my favorite is that Vince actually admits this in the article because, you know, when you're in Hollywood, it's hard to be honest about things because relationships are everything. And, you know, you don't want to badmouth anyone per se because you might be doing business with them the next day. But he talks about pitching this to HBO and he said they wouldn't <laughs> even grace us with a no. They were like, just get out of the office, please. They were so <laughs> horrified by this show. They were like, get out. Um, and I thought that was kind of interesting. I mean, this article is really in-depth and great. So I, uh, if you're a Breaking Bad fan, which if you're watching this, we know you are, you should check it out. It's pretty cool. Also gives you some teasers for um, season five. But they don't like to see the next script because they don't yeah. want to know. They all want to kind of guess along with us, which is cool. And stay in the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Interesting what, to hear what HBO has to say about it now. <laughs> well, also, I know yeah. that I also think, um, you know, like, uh, what network had Weeds? Showtime. Yeah, Showtime. Showtime, right. Showtime Pass on it because they had a similar show at the time, they thought, because of the pot. Because of Weeds, yeah. Yeah, but don't you think it would have lived really well on that network, too? I yeah, think, well, it's a yeah. totally different show. That's where just these guys over yeah. think stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's like, oh, well, we already have one that has drugs in it, so we don't need that. Well, completely different show. And the other thing that I thought was cool was, remember the um, the crazy box cutter episode? Yeah. They had said that they were trying, they battled AMC really, really hard to keep three more seconds yeah. of the brutal death scene <laughs> um, because they wanted the audience to feel something on a visceral level. Um, and Vince says, I want moments of showmanship, moments that take your breath away. Well, Vince, you took our breath away. That's for sure. for sure. But I did kind of feel sad that, you know, some of the other cast members weren't on the cover. Who would have you liked to see? I'm like, how do you pick? It's kind of hard. So, anyway, that's it. All right. And that's any, your any Breaking Bad news and I got one. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What Gotta you got? support Brian Cranston <laughs> in Total Recall. Oh, the oh. right. Brian oh. Cranston in Total Recall. Right. Did you go there and see go. it? I did not oh. see it. Which I will say, so um, uh, shush with the whole I got to support. I'm just kidding. Um, the other thing that Brian Cranston says in this is how exhausted he is. Um, and so, but when you get to this place, he goes, I'm more tired than I've ever been. But when the material is this good, you don't even think about it. So he's pretty tired because of Total Recall. He's done five films, I think. Drive. He um, was amazing in that. Exactly. So. Okay. All right. Now we're done. That's your breaking bad news and gossip, gossip Thank you for very much. After Buzz TV. Then you, let's get right into the Well, before we get into predictions, you know, just real quickly, just going over the changes in wardrobe. Just something to yeah. think about. You know, Marie continues to be in the purple. Yeah. Um, Hank went from black, yeah. which I'm seeing is I'm calling funeral black. I'm seeing that okay. like the death. Then we're then he was into a light yellow, uh -huh. with the, you know, on the kind of the Hawaiian shirt. Skyler went from black to taupe to uh, a very pale yellow with the blue skirt when she went into the pool. That and was white with the blue skirt. Uh, it was right. I thought it was a pale. I'm uh, not a pale, but okay. I'm saying like a tan. It was. I don't feel it was a white. It was, was white. Okay. Was it white? I yeah. thought it was white. Okay. White shirt. And then it went, and then it was, I couldn't tell if it was black. Uh, uh, it was yellow. You know, she had like a yellow uh, right. night jacket. I don't know if it was throw. black or purple. I couldn't couldn't see what, maybe it was the uh, screening room. Um, and then uh, at the end, it was, it was black and blue. So, um, and with Walt, it was red, black, white, and then a white and tan when he had the black hat. Um, so... It's it's interesting to see that you know we know there, Gus there was Gus was all yellow. I think Mike August is right that the blue is the is the meth and it's mm -hmm. it's the you know so when we see that we know 
we're we're working we're in the uh in that in phase that so it was just it's interesting because it all it it, it definitely all means something yeah clearly that's why right. marie's in purple all the time i don't know i don't know and now your after buzz tv predictions Anybody got one off the bat? Lydia does not get killed. <laughs> He's not next week. She does not, not die. But Todd might. Todd. Oh. Well, interesting oh. that Todd is back, and it looks yeah. like they're going to put Todd to work. Yeah, if he, yeah, he's not. He, he will. He may eventually, but he certainly won't next. I week. hope he's a good masochist for well, them. Well, but yeah. Mike said the whole thing about there's the people who get caught and the people yeah. who leave witnesses behind, and right. then it showed Walt standing over top of Todd with a shovel in his hand. No, he's putting him to work. Okay. Mm -mm. Maybe just made it look like that, maybe. That's yeah. why. Right. What do you guys think about Walter Jr. and his red car? Do you think a car crash is coming up? Do you think they would do that, go that route, or no? Maybe. I mean, he I was mean, talking about right? speeding, well, and, yeah. you know, they do need something to distract them from. <laughs> <laughs> and it's yet another bad decision to yeah. give a kid like and that. And Walter would feel responsible. And right. A very powerful yeah, car. It's exactly. not about horsepower. It's about torque. It's about yeah. It's yeah. all these things. It's actually a great call. And person. it's about the driver. Remember? Yeah, it's about the driver. You're right. Yeah. Good, good one. Good catch. Um, yeah. You know, for me, I, I thought it was one of the more revealing. Usually, these these uh, previews are kind of cryptic. Yeah. And this mm -hmm. was very revealing. Yeah. We see we see Lydia in blue, which right. is the meth blue we're working. Put out the big map and yeah. say. If this we get we get one barrel, we're gonna get. Yeah. I mean, it seems like she's gonna bring it to that crazy level. Yeah. And remember, like the. And all because she doesn't want to give any barrels from work. And 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 it all is gonna reinforce. We've seen all the ads of Walt with the stacks and stacks of money, right? Yeah, it's right. like he's completely powerful. And right now, if you notice, Walt just cleared. I don't know. Very, after all the money was chopped up, yeah. he didn't clear much money. But for her to be able to get an unlimited supply of meth, yeah, uh, and then the fact that or you know precursor, precursor, <laughs> right, and the fact that Mike is is uh, he, he's losing power, it mm -hmm. seems like, it, I think we're gonna see Walt coming to some serious corner. Yeah, Walt hasn't met Lydia, right? He hasn't met her, so yet, right? So next week he yeah. will. Be I don't know what he's goes. gonna think of her. Here's a big here's a big prediction that came from some of the fans. All right, is that Skylar's only thing that she can do is at some point to tell Hank, and maybe that's why at birthday 52, Walt is alone. Oh. Who knows Ooh. if he's just a total to fugitive. Tell Hank. Betrayed. And, and, and ready for the big giant shootout like Scarface. Right. Right? right? Yeah. Like, you don't have those kind of weapons unless you're going to last hurrah. Yeah, all right. right. Phil, you, did you get a prediction or anything? And then um, you want to add to that? Uh, I, I don't get to see the previews. That's the okay. one thing I don't gotcha. get to see. Yeah. You well, don't need the previews. And the fact that he said <laughs> in in that first episode, the guns won't be leaving the state. And does he mean he's not going to be leaving either? Is he right. going out in a giant blaze of glory, either against the police yeah, or whoever else? We so just interesting. Just I'd like to see that battle. I, I can't like wait for we next will. episode. I can't uh, wait. I'd All like right. to see another 16 episodes on top of this. Yeah. You know what I think? <laughs> Vince Gillian was talking about the Western. Maybe it'll just be, you know... Breaking Hank, Bad, the Western? Hank versus Make Walt. Make my day. There you right. go. And the Western. Okay. So you're right. really, Maria's rubbing off on you. All right. All right. Sorry. Before this degrades any further, we're going to say our goodbyes. <laughs> Thank you guys for Thanks tuning for in. Thanks for tuning in. On behalf of Phil Speed Tech, Kristen Snyder, Kevin Undergaro, and Maria Menounos, I'm Joe Comerford saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.